Currently residing in the heart of Europe, Jeffrey and Eric Lyser are finishing their second feature film, Imagination. With an impressive 14 short films behind them, the young brothers already have quite a resume. So we're here in the recording studio, day one, <laughs> and uh, we're going to try to lay down some uh, vocal tracks. Musician, pianist, composer, poet, writer, vocalist and animal lover, Jeff Lyser is a self-taught creator of film scores and original compositions. Taking inspiration from God and nature alone, Jeff continues to bring soul to his brother's visuals. get serious about music at a certain point like there wasn't any point where I woke up and I'm like this is this is what I have to do um, it was pretty gradual and it started with um, probably the, sh the first short film Autumn seeing seeing that music over the images was really powerful and it it was kind of like it was my calling I don't listen to music, which is very, kind of an extreme thing, and it's not a thing that I'd recommend for everyone, because I think a lot of people need music. But in my life, I've found that the absence of music and the um, silence actually um, influences my work more than music ever could. God gives me visions, and and it's my job to just kind of write them down as a, like, you know, musically speaking, like, I don't know, like a, an old playwright or something. I'm really inspired by the sounds I hear in nature, that's why I don't listen to music. I like to hear the sounds that all sorts of animals make and uh, they inspire me to to want to write and um, in a sense I'm, I create music not just for humans but for the world around me. His aim is to build an organic orchestra entirely from natural objects. In a world of homage and piracy often characterized by a lack of original ideas or risk-taking, Jeff's views stand apart from the rest. This no-nonsense attitude allows him to create dynamic music while maintaining a solid integrity. Collaborating with Eric is definitely a special process, and unlike most processes where um, a director tells the composer what he, what he wants, and um, the job of the composer is to realize the vision um, but we work in dual visions where it's kind of complemented on a certain scale like a music video would and on the other hand 
I'm I'm trying to bring what I can to the to what it, the images he's portraying. And since they're they're like stark, like powerful images, very symbolic images, um, it's usually my task to kind of um, interpret it and what I think his vision is. And it works great being brothers because we have a special connection. <laughs> That's a wrap, everybody. Filmmaker, director, animator, puppeteer, illustrator, holographer, teacher, and writer, Eric Lice's work as an artist is wide-ranging and accomplished for one still so young. An alumni of the California Institute of the Arts, Eric graduated from the world-famous Experimental Animation Program. Mentored under Jules Engel, Susan Pitt, and Janie Geiser, he was known for his maverick style and original vision. Eric has managed to produce avant-garde work outside the entertainment industry whilst remaining integrated with it. Initially, at the very beginning, I always would have ideas and then I'd find different mediums to express it. Um, at one point I had an idea that I felt was really suited to film. It was, it was a dream. I think films are very similar to dreams. vision that God gives me usually if it's a very personal film and I have a clear a clear idea about what I want to accomplish what I end up with is usually always something completely different but in a way it's always better it's more naturalistic and it, it has its own personality its own life apart from me uh, every film I've worked on has been a struggle in some some form, some more than others. Um, filmmaking for me is a very tedious process. It's a very trying process. It's a, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, there's a lot of happy accidents, but there's usually some redemption that I'm striving for at the end that keeps me going, keeps me forgetting about how hard the process can be sometimes. There's something about putting the things that you're afraid of in your films, the things that you're uncertain about, the things that you're passionate about, something about putting it all into a creative project. A process happens where you come away with this real understanding and wisdom about, oh, that's how I really felt. You know, like that's that's the real core of the issue here. I enjoy the immediacy of live action, but uh, for me, the actual process. The actual doing of animation um, is the most fulfilling. Um, I use those two different mediums for different purposes. I use animation to describe more inner worlds, um, things that you, 
you normally couldn't do in live action, more things that are imaginary uh, or psychological. Animation seems to fit in right there, but actually animating itself is a very um, kind of meditative process. Um, I have some of my deepest thoughts and revelations and understanding while animating because it slows you way down. It takes you way out of the hustle and bustle of everyday life and it puts you in this little, in this little cocoon. It's hard for me to make all live action film at times. Like films like Iceland, you know, it's almost entirely live action, but there's one scene where I animated the rocks. I just have to like, there's an impulse in me where I, I want to move, I want to affect matter. That's filmmaking with Jeffrey and I. Like, I have a vision for the story and the visuals and the feelings, and then Jeff has a vision for the music and how it should marry the visuals. So we kind of have this, like, one vision. Uh, a lot of the films, like, on this collection, um, they're very specialized. You know, we all have one fingerprint. It's like my fingerprint is on these films. But if it doesn't really come either like through a dream or a prayer um, or just like some intuitive thing deep inside, then it's hard for me to do it just on the fact that it's gonna be a good idea. It has to have like the deepest meaning for me to, in order to like spend my time and my life uh, to put into this this project, so if someone's approaching that this is a piece of art um, from an artist, not from a huge company, to make money, that this is actually made um, to, to as a communication vessel between the creator and the viewer. If they can go into it seeing that, knowing that there's definitely a message there, and if they expect to come away with something, then I think that they're on the right track to watch this DVD. Great things are expected from the Lyser brothers. We can only hope that their eclectic work finds a place in the world of film.